I'm Jim Monahan from Professional Baseball Instruction and the Baseball Health Network, along with Baseball Health Network founder Steve Hayward and Seattle Mariners Major League prospect Patrick Kivlahan. And one of the things that we want to talk with you about is a very hot topic among youth sports these days, and that's specialization. Steve, we see it a lot where kids are playing sports, and in this case, let's say baseball, on a year-round basis. And it's being linked to a lot of things, not the least of which is an increase in injuries. Sure. I mean, playing playing the same sport year-round, it's, it's a lot of repetition, especially when you talk about the throwing arm. And uh, a lot of these kids' bodies aren't really conditioned to, to be able to handle that workload throughout the entire season. So they're currently, you know, obviously, better breaking down. And Patrick, you have an interesting story. You played football and baseball during high school at St. Joseph's in Montvale. And then you end up at Rutgers on a football scholarship. You don't play baseball at all for three years. Nope. You get to your senior year, decide to play baseball again, and the next thing you know, you've been drafted by the Seattle Mariners. What was that like in terms of your training when you were doing both sports in high school? Uh, definitely in high school, uh, you know, football season, it was time to lift as much weight as possible, and in baseball season, you scale it back a little bit, you know, try and be a little more flexible, a little more, uh, you know, ready for the longevity of that season. And in terms of weightlifting, how different was that for baseball to football? Uh, it wasn't too different. Football, I try and you know, do a little more, get as strong as possible. Baseball is more about maintaining and uh, not getting too weak. And when you were in high school, what was that schedule like? You're training six months a year for one sport and then playing, and then six months training and playing the other sport? Sure. In the summers and fall, I would you know, strictly train football. And then uh, in the winters, I trained for baseball. In the springtime, it'd be baseball season. And Steve, as we said earlier in the intro, talking about training for one sport and how it can help lead to injuries because you're repeating the same motion again and again and again. So really, you should be advocating playing more than one sport during a year. I've always said that. I mean, I, I played multiple sports as a, as a young kid. Um, I'm a dad. I have four boys. My kids play multiple sports. And uh, I just want them to get, get the different you know, movements and the different mindsets that, that are involved in sports. I want to teach my kids to be an athlete not a baseball player, not a football player, but just to be an overall athlete, which is gonna help them in whatever the sport they decide to choose down the road. Steve, we talked in the intro about year-round training, especially sports-specific training, and how many feel that's leading to more of these injuries that we're seeing. In Patrick's case, there was year-round training, albeit for two different sports. Is that as much of a danger area, do you think, or are you changing enough of what you're doing that you're working on different body parts? Well, I, th I think that different sports have different requirements, especially if you go position by position, there's different requirements, especially in football, where a lineman would be doing a lot more of the stuff here, where he's doing a lot more agility training as a cornerback and, and working on things that are going to require speed, just like they do on a baseball field. It's a great story from a local athlete who's done what so many kids are trying to do. Patrick, thank you for your time. On behalf of Steve Hayward from the Baseball Health Network, I'm Jim Monahan. For more, go to BaseballHealthNetwork.com.